your senses and facial plastic surgery. How do they relate? Well, we're going to talk to you about it today with Dr. Ward. Dr. Ward, good to see you. Great to be here. Facial plastic surgeon, so you clearly know what you're talking about when we talk this area. Yeah, so one of the things that I find super interesting is how a lot of the things that we mm -hmm. associate with beauty, like what, are the, what, like what makes a face beautiful or what makes a person beautiful or, mm -hmm. or their features beautiful mm -hmm. is often tightly tied to our senses. How, how so? Are we talking like your nose? Because obviously some people need a nasal surgery to help them breathe sure. better, correct? So I guess it could, you know, be related to that. We mm -hmm. don't typically think of the nose as something that makes somebody beautiful, no. but, mm -hmm. but sometimes it can be a distraction and, and it can be a distraction from the other senses or the issue that sometimes people have with the nose is they mm -hmm. just can't breathe very well. They don't get good True. airflow through and we need to yeah. fix that. And that's typically something that we do in facial plastic mm -hmm. surgery. But the real thing is like the things like our mouth, our eyes, even our ears and our mm -hmm. skin to some degree all relate to what we think of as beauty. True. And I guess with your skin, if you were, is this a stretch? <laughs> if you were embarrassed by the veins in your hands or your spots or things like that, people probably are hiding them and not using them as much, correct? Right. So if you may beautify them, maybe you're going to feel sure. more open with your hands? So one of the things that, that I think is super interesting about the psychology of how mm -hmm. we think about beauty or what we think is, is like an attractive feature mm -hmm. it's often related to like well how well does our body work naturally if there's kind of like funny spots on the hands or funny wrinkles or whatever mm -hmm. we see that on a very deep primitive part of our brain subconsciously is like gosh it's not working quite right and we see that as less attractive mm -hmm. same thing happens with things like the eyes you know mm -hmm. as we age we all every single one of us gets some drooping of the skin here our brow droops Gravity it's totally is not natural our but for some reason Again, in the very primitive part of our brain, we associate that with a less attractive feature. Hmm. Now, does it change who they are? Of course not. It's just like that's part of our brain. It's who we are as humans. And we try to suppress it. We try to get over it. But we just can't. Well, and I actually do know people who have been born with excess skin up here. And they've had to have surgeries at a younger age because they, they really couldn't see properly. Right. So there are times like that where it has to be done. And that's actually a really good point because I mm -hmm. think a lot of people think that plastic surgery is all about aesthetics or all about mm -hmm. cosmetics. Mm -hmm. It is not. It, it is often to improve the function. So for improving the function of the eye, you know, if we're getting rid of the excess skin, right. that right. really can help improve peripheral vision. If we're improving the ability that a person has to get airflow in and out of their, their nose, mm -hmm. that's improving it. One of the things that I like to do is, is reconstruction after skin cancer. Of course, that's a oh, yeah. kind of a different of thing. Mm -hmm. But also things like if you've had a condition like facial paralysis, where the mouth isn't working right. True. Sometimes we need to do something to kind of readjust the mouth or move things around so that people can speak normally, even eat normally. With facial paralysis, is it something that, you know, obviously if their face, you know, potentially mm -hmm. one side wasn't working, do you try and make it look similar to the other one, even if it doesn't work, essentially, just yeah, to appear more so? That's a really good point. So mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah, that's the goal is just like, okay, let's just get it looking better at rest. Mm -hmm. But ideally, we'd have it looking good at rest as well as looking good while it's moving. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's so many different reasons. And whether somebody wants to do it for cosmetic only, because they are embarrassed about a facial feature that they mm -hmm. just don't love, sure. they can totally do that. Or some people need to do it to heighten that sense right. of smell or sight, whatever it might be. But that's where you come in and you can really help walk them through the proper procedures, correct? For sure. And I, I would just maybe kind of add a little clarification to, mm -hmm. to one thing that you just said there, that I don't know if it's necessarily about embarrassed. Like sure. I really try to move away from that because sure. I don't think that if, if somebody's really embarrassed about how they look, to me that's almost like there's something deeper in here. Okay. Because we I are like who we are. Yeah. I think that, that it's more about kind of your self-identity. There's a Got really it. amazing book called Psycho-Cybernetics by this plastic surgeon written in the 50s, mm -hmm. Dr. Maltz. And it's super interesting because it talks about how we see ourselves as part of our identity. And I think psychology behind it is probably so interesting. So true. And that's, that's it. Like if we, if our self image shows that we should have bigger lips or we should have a less prominent nose, mm -hmm. or we should have eyes that aren't so droopy or ears that are less prominent, then we know that that's something that we could do to try to help get people get back to their true identity. So it's super interesting. I think this is a good topic. We might have to dive into that a little bit more <laughs> next week. So you can catch Dr. Ward right here every single Wednesday for Doc Talk. Thank you as always, Dr. Ward. You can scan this QR code and it will take you right to the website so you can learn more and schedule a consultation. Morgan, what's coming up?